Hello, and welcome to Happy Handicrafts. My name is Joanna, and today is an exciting day because we are going to be making the last model from the second year from the book Paper Sloyd for Primary Grades by Edna Ann Rich. Now this is project number 14 from the second year and it is a pen box. Now I'm going to tell you there is no pen from this generation that's going to fit into this tiny little box but it is very cute. You can see how we've used it in an alternative way and if you stick around to the end you're going to see how our little pet hamster Desiree enjoyed her meal from our little pen box. Now the materials you're going to need for this project are first the book Paper Sloyd for Primary Grades by Edna Ann Rich. I'm going to include two links for that below. You're also going to need a cutting mat, a pencil, an X-Acto knife, a ruler, some glue, and some good quality cardstock. We are using an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of scrapbook paper, which tends to be of higher quality and it has a nice design on it. Now for more details on the materials needed for this project, you can go to our website. You'll also find links to what we're using if you find that helpful. I'm gonna put a link for that below. So we're gonna get started by cutting out a four inch by six inch rectangle. So let's measure down from the top on the left hand side to four inches. We'll make a dot there as we usually do. We'll move, we'll move the ruler in towards the right and again mark down from the top to four inches where we draw a dot. Next we're going to use our ruler to join those two dots with a line. Next, let's measure in from the left. At the top, we're gonna to measure in six inches. We'll put our little dot, and then we'll go down the paper a ways. Measure in from the left again to six inches. And try your little dot. And now use your ruler to join those two dots with a line. Once that's done, we can use our X-Acto knife to cut out a rectangle. Lucy's going to turn the paper so that it's more comfortable cutting. It's always easier, at least we've found, that it's easiest to cut from the inside of the paper to the outside. If you found that you haven't cut completely through the paper, as Lucy has found here, we simply go back and cut it once again. And that gives us our four by six inch rectangle. Next, we're going to cut out, measure and cut out a one inch by 10 and a half inch piece. So we're measuring in from the left at the bottom to 10 and a half inches. We're going to move it up again and measure in another 10 and a half inches. We're using the same piece of paper here 
shapes because it has the same design and because we don't want to waste paper. Now use your ruler to join those two lines. Next, use your ruler to measure up from the bottom one inch. This is gonna be a strip that is one inch wide. And then on the right hand side, do the same thing. Measure up from the bottom one inch and place your dot there. Then use your ruler to join those two dots with a line. Now for this time only, we're going to leave our ruler there while we cut because we found that it gives a sharper edge um, when the cuts are longer like this. Um, so it's just an, another way to be a little more accurate. Also with the thinner paper, I'm not so worried that the exacto knife is gonna skip across the ruler and cut little fingers. We're then gonna turn the paper, like we said before, yes. And we're going to cut from the inside out to give us that long piece. Now we're gonna take our rectangle and we're gonna measure across the top and put dots at a half an inch, at two and a half inches, at three inches, three and a half inches, and five and a half inches. And then we're gonna do the same along the bottom of it. So put your ruler in place. We're measuring in from the left-hand side and we're gonna put a dot at a half an inch. Then again at, nope, two and a half inches, yes then three inches, three and a half inches, and five and a half inches. Now we're gonna use our ruler now to join the half inch dots. Then the two and a half inch dots. Then the three inch dots. Then we'll join the three and a half inch dots. And then the five and a half inch dots. Now we're gonna measure on the left, down from the top, and we're gonna put dots at half an inch and three and a half inches. We're gonna do that on the left-hand side and then on the right-hand side. Measure down to half an inch, draw your dot, then three and a half inches again, and draw another dot. Now using our ruler, we're gonna join the half inch dots with a line. And then join the three and a half inch dots with another line. Now using the diagram in our book, we're gonna reinforce our cut lines.
by that I mean we're just darkening the lines that we're going to cut so there's no question when we go to cut these lines. If you don't have the book, you can simply follow along with what Lucy's doing. Now once you're done, we're going to use our ruler for the longer line and we're going to use our X-Acto knife to cut that out. First we're just dividing our rectangle exactly in half at the 3 inch mark. Then we're going to use our X-Acto knife to cut out the smaller cuts. From now on we're going to be doing exactly what we do to one rectangle to the other. So we'll be doing everything twice. Now once our cuts are finished, we're going to make our folds. Now if they're smaller pieces, just go ahead and fold them. If they're longer, you might benefit from using a ruler to fold it against just as a preliminary fold. We'll reinforce these later. So you're going to fold along each line that you've drawn. Once you've completed your folds, you can reinforce those folds. We use the back side of our ruler or the back of a fingernail, anything that's going to just make it crisper for the final product. As you can see what we do to one box or one piece, we're going to do to the other.
Once again, reinforce the fold so we have a nice crisp fold. Now when that's done, you're going to have two little rectangles exactly the same. So you're going to fold the laps in, put glue on them, and connect them to the end piece by holding them tightly in place. Then do the same to the other end. Make sure the laps, those little pieces, are on the inside of your box. Hold them nicely in place until the glue is holding and then do the same to the other piece. You're going to put glue on the little tabs and fold it in so the tabs are on the inside. Do the same to the other end and we're going to have two little boxes that are exactly the same. Now we're gonna show you an ingenious little way for these two boxes to connect. You're gonna take your 10 and a half inch by one inch strip. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure at two inches. So measure in from the left, put a dot at two inches, five inches, seven inches, and 10 inches. This is a little extra from what the book is, um, what's in the book, what's in the um, instructions, but this, you might find this helpful. Measure again at the bottom of it at two inches, five inches, seven inches, and 10 inches. Then we're gonna use our ruler to join the two inch marks then the five inch mark then the seven inch mark we're doing this by the way because our box is two inches by three inches so we're measuring out the perimeter of the box. We're next going to fold on those lines that we created with our design on the inside. See how it's going to make a two inch by three inch box in itself or outline. Now Take your glue and simply line the inside walls of one of your boxes. Now we're going to take our one inch by 10 and a half inch piece and we're going to fit it inside that box. It took a little bit of work to get it to fit in perfectly. Then we held the pieces onto the sides because they wanted to curl a little bit. We held it until the glue stuck. And there's our final product. So we filled ours with some hamster food. And we're going to feed it to our little pet Desiree. We'll, we'll see if she appreciates this. 
So you see how the top fits perfectly over top of the bottom. It's such a cute little box. And here's Desiree. And I think she enjoys her lunch. She'll even store some in her cheeks so she can take it back to her habitat. <laughs> So there you are, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this last project of year two. And I hope to see you in the next video where we're going to start year three.